it's a good thing Mike Thompson, the general manager with Perry's Steakhouse and Grill, is here. Thank you so much for being here. So you're at the Frisco location, but you got an uptown location, uptown Dallas as well. Correct. And then going to be opening in Grapevine soon. Yes, well, hopefully by the end of the by year. By the end of the year. Okay. Great. So uh, yeah, well, Perry started as a as a local butcher shop back in 1979, and we've now grown to become one of the, the top steakhouses in America. And uh, every year we like to celebrate that by offering uh, uh, our July promotion where we do four courses for $44. Oh. And we have four choices for each course. It's a deal. So uh, one, Done. <laughs> one thing that I'm going to prepare for you is one of our dessert options is uh, our Nutty D'Angelo, which mm -hmm. we actually flambe table side for, for all of our guests. Oh, so it's a show as Yes, well. it is all about showmanship. <laughs> all about showmanship. That's what we like. Yeah. Step okay, back, so Jack. Let's do? do it. So uh, well, first off, we, we start off with our, uh, we have a bowl here with some chocolate sauce, and then it's just in a yeah. traditional ice cream bowl, mm -hmm. um, some almonds, and then we have some white chocolate uh, melted on top, and then we freeze it. Um, wow. And then table That's side, uh, okay. we're going to prepare it. So first off, we're going to... Got our got our pan and our, okay. our burner. Started <laughs> got off some with heat. a little medium to high heat, and we're gonna melt a little bit. You're of the butter. general manager. Are you allowed to be around an open flame? Uh, they, not every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start off and melt a little bit of butter. Do you like it, trying all the new things that you guys come up with? Absolutely. I bet it's Absolutely. fun. Absolutely. Yeah. We're gonna add some pecans to that. Okay. Okay. Want to get a nice coating of butter all around those pecans. And obviously known for uh, for your steaks. Look at some of the some of the stuff you guys brought. Um, yeah, we, so we gorgeous. have some of these other options here. We have, uh, of course, our, our pork chop, which is one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. That's a pork chop. That is that our pork is. chop. It is. Oh my goodness, yeah. And the wedge salad. I love that there. That's one of the wedge best. salad with our uh, homemade buttermilk vinaigrette. And then one of our newer items are uh, our steak tartare. Okay, okay, so we're seeing the brown sugar starting to caramelize, turn a little bit brown. Add a little liquidy. bit of brown sugar. Yeah. Get it nice and caramelized. Want it to cook there, nice together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now this is the dangerous part. We're gonna uh -oh. we're gonna light it on fire with some. Step with some, back. <laughs> this is. Oh, Whoa! and it works. Yes. <laughs> You made that look easy. So a little bit of brandy. For, the, for those of us who are not quite that nervy and may or may not have open flame, you put a little bit of brandy in there, cognac or something like that, and then just... Yep, just some traditional house brandy is all we use. Not too much, and please be careful. <laughs> we, I don't want to see any singed eyebrows on our viewers, okay? So what are you going to do? Pour that on top of this then? Yes, Is that how that works? Oh, yeah. So we just finish it off with a little bit more brown sugar just to kind of thicken up the sauce a little bit. That's going to be perfect with that ice cream. Wow. You that can... would be just about irresistible. <laughs> you can find this recipe and a link to Perry's Steakhouse on our website, fox4news.com. That is a thing of beauty. And they've got that, uh, that anniversary special through the end of the month. We'll be right back. We